In this example, we are going to find the creep coefficient uh, at several different times. Uh, you can see that we have several different given properties about our uh, concrete mix and environmental conditions that are the same as our uh, shrink shrinkage example. Uh, so the first step in finding our creep coefficient, um, and I guess I should mention that we're once again using our ACI 209 procedure, uh, but our first step will be to calculate our required coefficients. And this is the same first step as our shrinkage. So first, we'll need to find our loading age factor. Our loading age factor accounts for the time at which the concrete is loaded. Um, so in our case, we have our loading age as uh, 28 days um, after casting. So we'll plug 28 in here and we'll find our loading age factor uh, to be 0 0.844. Our next factor is our relative humidity factor. In our example we have 70% uh, relative humidity so we plug in our 70 here and we'll get a value of 0 0.801 for our relative humidity factor. Our next factor is our volume to surface area ratio factor. Uh, so in our case, we have a volume to surface area ratio of 3 uh, inches. So we plug that into our equation here, and we'll find our factor to be uh, 0 0.780. We next have our slump factor. So our slump in this case is two and a half inches. So we'll plug that in here and we'll find our slump factor to be 0, 0 0.988. Uh, then our next factor accounts for our fine aggregate content. Uh, so in our case, we have 60 percent fine aggregate. So we'll plug in our 60 percent there and we'll find our fine aggregate content to uh, factor to be uh, 1.024. Uh, finally we have our air content factor. So in our case we have 7 percent air. So we'll plug in our 7 percent and we see that we need to be greater than 1.0 our factor equals 1.09 with 7% error. Uh, so we're greater than 1.0, so we're okay. Uh, so our second step, uh, similar to shrinkage, is to use our coefficients. So all, all of our calculated coefficients above to find our ultimate Creep coefficient. So our ultimate creep coefficient, which we'll call uh, nu sub u, is equal to uh, 2.35 um, times our gamma creep. So our gamma creep here is a combination of all or on combination of all the factors above. So we take 0.844 times 0.801 times 0.780 times 0.988 times 1.024 times 1.09 to find our uh, gamma here. Uh, so then we'll find our gamma factor here to be um, 0 0.582. So then we can find our creep coefficient to be 1.367. So this is our creep coefficient at ultimate. And this is what we'll use um, in our next step to find our, uh, our creep coefficient over time. So our next steps are to calculate the creep at each time. And these were the times that we desired in the initial problem description. And then we can plot the uh, creep coefficient over time. Um, 
So you can see the first thing that we did was uh, we found the uh, from the concrete age and the time of loading we found the time after load application. Um, so this time after load application is is t, and this is what we use um, in our t here. Uh, so if we uh, put these values in, we can find um, the first component of our time dependency. So we'll find uh, a 28 days after loading, uh, 0.424, then 0 0.598, 0.693, and 0.775. Uh, so then we can plug uh, this value in here, so times uh, our 0.424 times our ultimate creep coefficient, um, and we'll get our creep coefficient at each of these times. So first we'll have 0.581, then 0.818. Point nine four seven, and then one point zero six zero. So then we can plot our uh, creep coefficient uh, over time. Um, so at zero time, we'll have uh, zero creep coefficient. At fifty six days after loading, we'll have a creep coefficient of point five eight one. At uh, 118 days, we'll have a creep coefficient of 0.818. Um, at 208 days, we'll have a creep coefficient of 0.947. And then at 393 days, we'll have a creep coefficient of 1.060, so right about there. Then we can connect all these with a straight line. And you can see our, our uh, creep versus time plot. Um, so one thing to note is that um, while shrinkage may level out completely, um, creep will continue to uh, increase with some slope. Um, and this slope is generally thought to uh, be related to uh, the natural log of t.